Ooh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I didn't realize it, but uh, PC Building Simulator 2 uh, released on Epic. Uh, I saw a video pop up on that. I enjoyed the first one. I didn't get super into it, uh, mostly because it's single player. I didn't have an outlet for that. Uh, so uh, I'm going to go into it. I'm going to go into the career mode. We're going to play it for a little bit. Uh, kind of compare the 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 game to building computers in real life and kind of seeing how we can do things. Uh, we'll talk about it here in a little bit. Uh, for those that don't know, uh, I am a IT tech professional by trade. I'm a desk service technician. Uh, I build computers. I ran my own computer business for a while. Uh, I've been building computers back since the 486 days. So got a little bit of, of computer building experience in my background. But it's a new day in a new shop. It might not uh, look like much, but all you have since the old one mysteriously burned down. Read the note of Tom Kim to find out more. Um, if you guys do watch me during my streams, uh, my desktop computer sets in the screen with me. Uh, it is uh, it's a little bit older, but uh, definitely uh, definitely still still a monster machine. What's this say? Oh, it's in. So I guess you've uh, seen the old shop or what's left of it. Sorry, I wasn't there to take the edge off the shock, but we've got to meet with the insurance company to discuss the fire. Apparently, they think we might deliberate what a crazy idea anyway it's lucky i had the old place as a standby i managed to rescue the pcs i was working on before the fire and i moved them all here they'll still need to fix them and collect the money for the jobs have to cover questions the smoky aroma just tell them you had to solder something uh also knew you'd need a, a shop computer so i uh, sent one of mine over should have, uh, should have arrived by now. Check the delivery area in the back of the workshop. Fair warning, it doesn't. It doesn't work. <laughs> Makes sense. But it might just need a new GPU. So I've sent one of those over to. Best, mo uh, best money can buy. Anyway, get it fixed up. Plug it in and check your emails. You're welcome. Uh, I should mention that I had to borrow $15 this morning for breakfast. Uh, if I've learned one thing in life, it's never meet the insurance agent on an empty stomach. Thank <laughs> him. All right. All right. So that's cool. Clearing cells. A little bit of building, building action going on back here. Oh. Oh, that's going back out that way. It uh, seems to be a little bit stuttery. What, what do we got here? Like an RTX 3080 just laying around. Thanks, Uncle. PC need to be fixed. I'll click on the PC case to put it in build mode. All right. So let's go into the build mode. Let's see. Remove the side panel. So hold, right click to rotate. Okay, cool. All right. I like that idea. That's kind of cool. Zoom in and out. So the good thing with this is, is they do a lot of uh, actual PC equipment and you know, talk to their people. And... So let's do this. Okay. Right. I, I want to. I want to. Right. Like the EPG screws. Uh, missing GPU. Well, it's not broken. It's missing. PC is missing a GPU. Thank you. You just said a very good one delivered. Yeah, we're gonna have a work a work computer that or a work uh, email checker that we're gonna put a thirty eight. Let's see, makes makes perfect sense. Card. 
Uh, plugs. Oh, no, wait, no, that's right, because I think the 38 does the 2 8 pins to the 60. Put those in. We'll connect the cables. sides back on it so the good thing with this this is they do use very customized or very uh authentic parts and pieces and stuff like that uh and they did the first one too well done ready to go character workstation left place that under this uh we're not going to test it we don't do that here we just we just take we take uncle tim's Gonna turn on. All right, just turn on. I'll be all right. Make an operating system. Okay. So, I the video I saw that let me know this was out. That's actually my desktop background. So that is it's so stupid, and it's such a small little thing but it's amazing <laughs> we're gonna find out which streamers have uh <laughs> weird backgrounds really quick it's gonna be awesome this is where all the job messaging officer will arrive check uh, inbox let's see 2000 is super mail. I don't want my name is I I is I say urban aesthetic innovator and artist currently working on an ambitious project section of dangerous and need my PC to be painted completely red to match the color of the rest of the room. Is that something you can do? Sure. Alright, paint it red, I guess. Uh, I, okay. I do the, try to do the, okay. I'll put the last left click that. I have a look at this job. Oh, well, I went to the PC fix it in your shop, but found it into space and pleasantly speaking the aroma. I gather you know any business at the address passing fire right out of the new workshop nearby and workshop your buying and thought I dropped you an email, so you were still taking the fair jobs. You have been very slow waiting up here virus or some sort. Alright, cool. Sure. Let's see. Okay. Oh, that's Alright, that's great. Uh I'll pick that. Can you yeah, put it over put it over here? Okay. Work on the PC? Fire scanning. Once virus is went for the PC, you need the USB stick. Virtual software, luckily, you have one in your inventory. Sure. This part's fine. Oops. USB drive. Oh, that's cool. Allows well, you to kind of plug it in wherever you want to. Plug it back. Okay. Just randomly, willy nilly, plug them in wherever you want. Oh, that's cool. Well, yeah, actually, get the BIOS. Real quick. 
fires again. Do, 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 do. Double click, open the virus scanner up. Start scanning. Oh, that, either he had no files <laughs> or, or the fastest computer I've ever seen in my life. Done, great job. We're just gonna leave the virus scanner on there. Not going to shut it down. Just going to, just going to. Nope. No way to, no way to shut it down, huh? I'm just going to, I'm just going to rip the power cable out of it, huh? Okay, complete. You have removed all of our PC. You ready to be returned to the client? Pick up the PC. Right click and place it in the corner. Okay. <laughs> just rip it out of the wall. It's, don't do that to your computer. Always shut it down. Do not just pick up the case. <laughs> Get it to the hallway. <laughs> shut it down properly. Unplug the cables from it one at a time. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Rainbow lights. What's this? Oh, we collect money? Sure. Okay. Job complete. DC is our best work you've been paid. On to the next job. Customize painter. We already did that one. Customize. Install all RGB lighting to rainbow effect. Set to walk. This one is. Uh, popular cheese and lands. Every year, season members, other in classic titles such as Ultimate Strike Siblings. I'm not inclined to brag, but I should mention that last year I entirely owned the notorious division Duke of Dwarfwood in the final match. I'm sure you can therefore understand why his personal computer needs to be tip top shape. Uh, the GPU is fine, it should be as I paid upwards of $5,000 for it. Uh, but the CPU could use a little more oomph. If you please entice the corona faster, I'd be grateful. Yours in anticipation, Robert Ferrier will be. Overclock CPU to at least 4,350. Yeah, sure, let's do that one. Oh, it's just, it's already here. Okay. Overclock CPU to at least 4,350. PC can boot to OS. Okay. Hold the left click on the mouse cable. How about push the front? <laughs> All right. Select the monitor. Uh, overclock the CPU by form uh, form the PC operating system or BIOS. Access the BIOS you need. Hit the F1 or delete key as it boots up. Don't press it. one of the keys at a time. The PC will boot to the OS as normal and you'll restart the PC and try again. Press the power to power the PC. All right. Um, I will give my my generic warning. I don't know how in depth this is going to go into overclocking. Overclocking is something that you should take great care with doing. Uh, and if you are trying to do this to your real computer, uh, please, if you don't understand what you're doing, seek a professional help. Uh, you can severely damage your system uh, and cause insanely uh, insane amounts of damage to your computer. Uh, so, that being said, <laughs> just, just be careful. Uh, so the base clock is at 100 megahertz. Uh, I wonder if CPU feed shows how fast the CPU runs and function of the base clock times the ratio there. So 100 times 40, you get 4,000 megahertz. You can tweak either the value and change the overall frequency, but normally you use a ratio for big changes and base clock for small ones. So if I do this, it won't be good. 
so uh and then yeah so and then depending on your processor uh there's there's limits like going to a setting like this the problem with putting in extra voltage into your your, your system uh is you're putting more voltage into the system and then that's causing more heat if you don't have enough cooling you're going to cause problems you can burn up your processor and cause a thermal problem and cause permanent damage if you pump too much voltage into your into your cpu you can destroy it so please if you ever decide to overclock computer do so with caution that being said obviously my computer is overclocked it normally runs three uh it's supposed to run at three gigahertz it's currently running at 4.4 gigahertz but i also have it on water cooling and i have the voltage just set to a very safe all right all i change is the restart yes um and i and a real overclock scenario is a lot more in depth than that. I think normally you'll have to install OCC yourself. OCC can be used to stress test the CPU and GPU after overclocking your accessibility. To show if a CPU is getting thermally throttled or run too hot. CPU is not running efficiently, gets too hot under load. Begin. So, and then basically what you're doing is you're you're running a bunch of tests, you're running a bunch of programs and stuff like that, and you're basically stressing the CPU. So we, we've given it this extra power, but we're trying to convince it to run at a faster processing speed. And then we hit it with a bunch of instructions and see if we get it to, to break. And honestly, Hell, my, my CPU, I don't even have to do that. I just push a button and come back later, and it, my computer overclocks itself. We got a successful test. We are, but you see that, you know, we were at 50 degrees, and now we're up to 67, uh, which I don't think is, is, well, it's only an i3, but if you're gonna, if you're looking to overclock, well, I should buy an i3. I don't even know if there's, obviously, it probably is an i3K, but. All right, good, that's all good. Overclocking is complicated. It's okay. Take the PC to delivery pavement. Overclocking is complicated. You can damage your hardware uh, if care is not taken with said. We recommend you experiment with overclocking in the game to see how far you can push them. Remember, so it's key to test the stability, but you can download this desktop drive control section. Um, so, that being said, there's a lot of difference between doing this in game and pretending to do it and doing it with a full machine. Uh, if you're going to do it with a real machine, please do so with caution and with knowing that there is risk involved. See, I, I really wish it would allow me to so I can step. So I can't shut it down. Sorry, I, I just have a problem with with somewhere. No, where did, where am I supposed to put this thing? Here? Where did you come here put it? Where's the hole? Do I put it on the shelf? Okay. I'm very lost and confused as to where I'm supposed to be putting this thing at. Oh wow, so it shows me everything that's in there. Place in the workshop delivery. You're coming with me. Oh, maybe uh, it's back here, maybe? Oh, there it is. 
All right. Now that's in the workshop. All right. I'm fine with that. Uh, what's this thing? What, what, are, what are you pointing out? Customize. How am I supposed to do this? Set RGB lighting to the rainbow effect set to walk mode. Okay. Welcome to the lighting app. The lighting app allows you to create uh, great effects for customers' PCs. For the job, the customer wants to set the lights to the rainbow walk effect. So let's get started. Access the monitor begin. Double click to access that. Okay, so I want to effect. Select all the components. Select all. Let's put the effects drop down menu and change it to rainbow effect. That's my swap. Okay. Make sure the pizza delivery area. All right, cool. Makes sense. Got that. Yeah, I really wish I could shut down the machine. Does that have to come back in? Nope. Just going to grab it and rip it out of the wall. That's good for the machine. So that one's done now. What else is left? Customer wants to water cool their GPU and add it to their existing water cool loop. Do this, you'll need to remove the GPU and add a GPU cooling block. Let's get started. Okay. Let's move. Side panel. So obviously all the stuff that we're doing here, uh, it's an RTX 3090 XC3, yeah. So yeah, they're, they're obviously you're you're playing a, a professional in the in the game, right? Uh, so if you're uh, you know a professional doing this is one thing, uh, but. If uh, you're looking to do this on your own, uh, definitely <laughs> be very careful. This is this is uh, so obviously there's going to be a lot more screws and stuff to take out apart a real one. Uh, there is a lot. There's a lot more screws. Usually a back plate, there's there's usually a lot more screws that you have to take apart. Um, I do not recommend taking your video card apart uh, unless you are uh, obviously uh, a professional. But it's fun to be able to do stuff like this and do, do some crazy stuff. Apply some new thermal pads, click to select them. Add thermal pads. That being said, I've recently taken my laptop apart, and uh, uh, next we need to remove and replace the thermal paste. Thermal paste is an important part of increases efficiency of transfer. Uh, I, if you're gonna, uh, uh, Q-tips aren't a bad thing to remove thermal paste. Uh, I use isopropyl alcohol also because uh, they help break it down and clear clear it off. That is cool though, they have the actual NVIDIA and everything like like the real ship. Like it. I will say that, uh, and I, I don't want to be like, oh yeah, do it this way. Uh, but uh, you have to be careful, like with these, you really have to make sure that you have enough thermal paste on these. Because uh, uh, you have to cover the entire guy. A CPU is a little bit different you don't need to put as much on it but uh, you want to make sure that especially if you're going to do something like this that you don't have a conductive thermal paste uh, you need to put enough on it that it comes to die and it can get off of these contacts uh, conductive thermal paste would be bad Yeah, 
So we didn't take any of these off, but we're going to put them all back in. That makes sense. Because originally, you would have had to take all these off for the, the heat sink to begin with. Back in my inventory, though. That's cool, though. Like that's that's pretty freaking in depth for a for a PC building type simulator stuff. Like I'm I'm pretty impressed. So now we want to install. We'll go to our box. Graphics card and stuff. Let's do that. Put that back, put that in. Like all things being dead, like and the the even the the first one wasn't wasn't horrible. Um now we need to create a single loop to allow the water to flow around water cool components. So let's start here. Left click and take water pipe to the connector. So uh, now really the, the trick here is is there's a lot of fighting about which one you should connect to where or whatever. Uh, the uh, the the real the real thing is is you want to make sure that your reservoir is at the highest point so that the air can get out of the system. In that you have you have a loop, right? You don't want to have uh, you know, so we'll connect there to so we'll connect this guy to that. And it doesn't really so I, I don't know if I would have connected it. That way, I usually connect the reservoir to uh, the radiator, uh, just because that way, between the radiator and the reservoir, I don't get an air pocket to you know, something important. Uh, because having your two high points, uh, you know, two at uh, different parts of it, you can get air trapped between them. Uh, th that's the biggest problem you can have is having air trapped uh, in your in your skewer or one of your water blocks. Bad things can happen. Uh, but that's personal preference and really like how you connect it it's not super you're getting purple and then obviously if you've ever water cooled a, a cpu uh there there's a lot more involved than just throwing a bunch of purple coolant in it and you know it magically starting to work uh, but if anybody gives me a chance to uh, that's that's right. I don't remember. remember oh. The other thing too is it makes you put all the stuff back together uh, before uh, before you can you can turn it on test it. Honestly, especially in a situation like this, I'm probably going to. I'm probably going to do some, uh, some testing with a side panel off, especially if it's, you know, I just put a bunch of water cooling in. If I just rebuilt your water cool, I'm going to do it with a side case off because I need to make sure that the thing's not leaking. Is that what?
All right, see if I can find the delivery area. Hey, look at that. We have anything else here? Oh, we have a painted red somewhere. Where's painted red at? Oh, that one's in transit from the painted red. Uh, we'll collect uh, that. Find that. Uh, we'll collect that. Okay. Uh, we will collect that. So of course, we will. It's all completed. Yeah. Box. New parts available. So, new parts about it. The following range an NZXT H440 designed by Razer. Looks like GeForce GX970. Uh, dark silver port. Oh, some RAM. Okay. If you were reading this, you, uh, you got the OPC mine up and running, you could do it. Workshop computer means you're officially open for business. Sure. Cash to bank sets you up with a loan. I'll push it okay. Alright, cool. He has to post another look at something to help warn that things to arrive tomorrow, so keep an eye out. Uh, paint it red. Paint the pitch red. Okay, that one's in transit. Rainbow lights. That one's done. That one's done. That one's done. That one's done. All right. So all that stuff is there. Oh, that's nice. Now you can just kind of choose what you want to do. So if you just, depending on which work you want to do, you can kind of do it. It's awesome. I like it. All right. So I think with that, Tim Red's Hot Repairs. Um, I'm going to leave the name for now. Uh, so I can actually rename it. Uh, I, I'm just going to leave it there. Um, uh, I, I think, yeah, I can go back in here, here and do it. So you guys, uh, if y'all leave a name, if you have a name for the, the shop here, go ahead, throw it down in the comments. Uh, with that, we're about 30 minutes or so, give or take a little bit. Uh, I'm going to end it off here. Uh, if you guys have any any uh, questions, if you have stuff like that, uh, if you're interested in this game or whatnot, throw me a comment. Uh, if you're interested in seeing more of these videos, uh, go ahead and hit, hit some buttons down there for me. I would appreciate it. You guys are awesome, and we will catch you all soon.